right, we are going to get started with um, one blue spring. And we're going to start just on your knees, on your carriage, facing towards the foot bar. And we want to have your feet extended behind you. So if this isn't comfortable for you, you can always roll up a towel and place it like underneath your heels here, something that gives you a little bit more elevation. Um, we're going to kind of come back into this position a little. So once you have that set up, I want you to fold forward. Place your hands on the foot bar. We're just going to start with a little warm up. So pushing the carriage back, letting your head drop down between your arms. Give me a couple deep breaths there. So give yourself plenty of space. You can open up your knees nice and wide. Let your head drop between the arms. And just take a minute, connect with your breath. On that next inhale, we're going to lift the chest and bring the carriage forward. And then as we exhale, press it out. Now this time, we're going to round the back. So as the carriage comes forward, just kind of do this little scoop of the belly, this tuck of the tailbone, and feel that carriage go in all the way. Let's do that two more times in each position. So press it out. Lift the chest. Press it out and then round your back. One more time like that. Lengthen and lift, press, and then round the back and bring it all the way back in. So as we come back in, we're gonna rise up. We'll reach back and grab your straps. And let's stay in the long loops to start. So as we get started, we want hands right next to your hips. The palms are facing forward, elbows are soft. We're staying nice and wide across those collarbones. And as we exhale, I want you to rise up onto your knees, reach those fingertips out to shoulder height. And then as we come back, make sure that your shoulders stay stacked over your hips. So what we don't wanna do is lean into it. We wanna make sure that you're moving your spine in a nice straight line. Your hips rise up, pause at the top, Squeeze your butt, make sure you're opening up those hips at the top, and then draw it back. Let's do that four more times. Reach, and back. Last three. Last two. Good, and then from there, we're gonna add a little arm movement at the top. So we're gonna pause at the top, hold, open the arms, bring it back to center, and then release it back. So we're rising up. Open, center, and release. Reach, open, center, and release. Let's do that two more times. Open, center, and back. And last one here, reach, open, center, and bring it all the way back. All right, so as we come back, we're gonna place that left strap back on the bar, keep the right strap in your hands. And we're gonna start the same way. So we're coming up onto the knees, opening up those hips. Now from there, as I inhale, I'm gonna let my right arm open back. Exhale, bring it back to center, Inhale, sit back towards your heel. So I'll give you a second here. If you feel like that's gonna be too much weight, you can always switch it down to a yellow. So yellow is always an option, just a little bit lighter. We're gonna go for six total. So we're rising up, open, center, and bring it back. Last four, rise up, open, center, release. Last three. Inhale as that arm reaches back. Exhale as we come back to center. Inhale as we sit back. Last two. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, center. Inhale, back. And last one. Reach. Center. And bring it back. All right. Let's place that right strap back on the bar. Switching over to your left hand. Palms facing out, the same motion here. Exhale, rise up. 
Inhale as we open. Exhale back to center. Inhale, bring it back. And release. We've got four more. Exhale and lift. Inhale and reach. Exhale, center. Inhale, back. Last three. And back. Last two. And one last one. Reach, center, and bring it all the way back. Good job, guys. Let's place that strap back on the bar. We'll reach down and add our red spring. And then we're going to place our hands on the bar. And then I want you to open up your feet. We're going to anchor that left foot back against the shoulder rest. And then we're going to bring our right foot forward onto the wooden platform in front of you. So what we want to do is walk that foot forward enough that the shin is touching the bar and then we're going to rise up so i want your hands on your hips your hips are square and this isn't a big motion so don't get too caught up in like how far you're moving the carriage this is really about opening up the front of that left thigh left hip by engaging the hamstring and glute on that side so i want to keep that right shin shin anchored against the bar and i'm just going to exhale and push back into the ball of that left foot now as i do so I want to make sure I'm not letting my hips rotate with that movement. So it's just a little baby move here. Exhale, press. I want to feel my tailbone staying long. So my tailbone's still reaching down, still feeling that sense of lift through the front of the belly as I press and bring it in. Let's do that four more times. Press and lift. Last three. And lift. If this bothers the knee, you can always place a towel or something underneath that back knee. Last two, last one, press. Now from there, fold forward, place your hands on the bar. Now I wanna walk my right foot back just a little bit, still keeping those hips squared up. This time I'm gonna take that attention to my right leg. So staying active on the left side, I'm pushing back into the ball of that foot. I wanna push through the heel of my right leg, let my head bow down as I push that carriage back, and then bend the knee and bring it all the way back in. And we're gonna press. And bring it in. Let's do that three more times. Pausing in that extended position wherever that is for you. So that leg might not get straight, that's okay. Let the back of the neck relax. Let the head come down towards that thigh as you push. On this next one, we're gonna press and hold it. Give me five. Four, three, two, and bring it all the way back in. As we come back in, we'll switch sides. So that right foot stepping back, left foot stepping forward. So again, we wanna walk that foot forward so that the shin is touching the bar. We're rising up, so we're balancing here. Square up those hips, belly's nice and tight. We're just gently pressing into the ball of that right foot, opening up that right hip, right hip flexor and then bring it back in. Press, bring it in. Try to keep those hips squared. So that left heel stays heavy, left sit bone stays dropping down and back as I'm pressing into the ball of that right foot and opening up that hip flexor. Let's go for three. Last two. Last one and then bring it back in, fold forward, place your hands on the bar. Work that left foot back just enough, keep pressing into that right foot, and then take your attention to that left leg, extending that hamstring, bending that, <laughs> pressing all the way out, letting your head come down toward that leg, and press, and bring it in, two, Good. On this next one, as we press, we're holding for three, two, one. Bring it all the way back in. All right. And then we're going to step back. 
So as we step back, we're bringing our feet back against the shoulder rest. Knees are in line with those feet. Hands are on the bar underneath the shoulders. We're going to bring those hips towards the foot bar. Roll the shoulders back. Draw that navel in towards the spine. We're keeping our body in this fixed position as we press back on the inhale. Exhale, lift that chest up and through the arms. Keep those collarbones wide as we pull forward and as we push back. So we don't want to go so far back that we're rounding the chest or letting those shoulders come forward. We want to keep those shoulder blades anchored back on the rib cage and those collarbones wide. That tailbone is staying long as we draw that belly in and up. Let's go for two more here. Last one. Beautiful. As we come back in, I want you to sit towards the heels and then we're gonna reach down and add a yellow spring. So with that yellow spring attached, we're gonna take our tailbone back towards your heels and this time I want you to scoop your belly. So from the crown of my head down to the tip of my tailbone, I wanna create this nice C curve. I'm drawing my belly back to support that lower back. My head's dropped between my arms and I wanna keep that position. So everything from my hip socket up is staying steady. The movement is gonna be for my legs. Now, I wanna really focus right at this spot where my hamstrings and my glutes meet. That belly keeps drawing in and up. You're gonna power back with the legs. So this is as far as I wanna go. Knees right underneath my hips. And then as I exhale, it's about pulling that carriage all the way back in, really getting that flexion of the spine. Inhale, push. Exhale it in. Letting go of all that tension in the back of the neck. My head is just hanging from those shoulders. Inhale back. Exhale in. That tailbone tucks slightly as I push with those legs. Let's go for three. Make sure that carriage comes in all the way. It's that last inch where we really get all of our work. Last one. And as I come back in, I'm going to keep my body in the same spot and I'm just going to go from the flex spine to an extended spine. So now I want to feel length out through the crown of my head, down through the tip of my tailbone, staying tight in that belly. So really focusing on that rib to hip connection, that space between your ribs and your hips. Imagine you've got suspenders and those suspenders are staying locked in here. So range of motion is going to be a little bit bigger. Same concept though. Inhale back. Use that exhale to pull back in. Keep that spine steady. Good. Flex at the hips. Reach those sit bones back as you pull those knees in. Belly tight. Last three. Two. And one. Bring it all the way back in. Beautiful job, guys. All right. So I've got a challenge for you. We're gonna go for eight here. I want you to keep track of, track of your own reps. Like I said, it is, it's gonna be a challenge. So this is that knees floating off. So we're going back into that starting position. So that C curve, that scoop of the low belly. I dropped a yellow spring off, so now we're back down to just your red, uh, blue and your red. And then we're gonna hover the knees up, press back, exhale in for eight, seven, six, stay low. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. And like I said, that was a challenge. If it's something that you didn't get, maybe it's something that you're going to work on later today or later on this week. And that got me nice and warm. I need a little air conditioning. <laughs> All right. So from there, we're actually going to drop it down another notch to just a red spring. So taking that blue off. Now we're going to take it back into a movement that's very similar to what we just did, but different. All right. So feet against the shoulder rests. We're going back to that first spot, so that kneeling plank position. From the crown of my head down through my knees, I want to find that stable position. Now from there, I'm going to push back. Now I want to pause. My shoulders are staying in exactly the same position. I'm going to soften my chin towards my chest, start to curl my knees forward, and find that nice deep C curve. Now I don't want to stop until I feel that carriage bottom out. Once I feel that it's anchored back in, I'm going to slowly start to rise up, 
release that extension and right back where we started. We're gonna go for six total, so five more here. Press on the inhale, exhale, curl, bring it all the way back in. Inhale and exhale, reset. Inhale, press. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, start to lift. Pause there, make sure you set that body before we press back again. Make sure that carriage comes in all the way as you flex and lift and open. Last three. Last two. And open. Last one. All right. So now we're going to reverse that movement. So as we come back in, don't let the carriage move. As we press through the heels and the hands, scoop that belly, find that C curve, chin to the chest. Now from there, my shoulders stay exactly where they are. I'm going to start by pushing back with my feet, pushing back with my knees, extend the spine, look out, holding that kneeling plank, bring it all the way back in. We're going to do this one six times total, C curve back, extend, pull it all the way back in, four more, extend, And bring it in. Last three. Last two. And one last one. And bring it all the way back in. Beautiful job, guys. All right, let's release that bar for a second. We're going to reach down and add a blue spring back on. So we're going into our plank series next. So give your arms a little break. Maybe roll those wrists out a little bit. I like to take my hands and just rest the top of my hands on the carriage and just kind of lean into it a little bit. Now, once you're there, do a little side to side shift and just kind of feel all of the, the muscles in the top of the forearm, those tendons that run across the wrist. Just kind of stretch out a little bit and then come up, do a few little wrist rolls. All right, so if you don't have Pilates socks on, you have regular socks on, you might wanna slip those off. We do wanna have a little traction on the carriage here. So as we start here, hands are gonna go about a shoulder distance apart on the bar. Now when I set up here, I like my fingers on the same side as the bar, and then just wrap those hands around the bar so that when I lean forward and shift my weight, into my hands, the heel of the hand is right on top of the bar. So if I bring my thumb back, it sets me up here where my wrist is behind the bar, and that's where we're gonna get a lot of stress on that wrist. So really focus on how can you get right on top of the bar so that you're just stacking on top of those wrists instead of having it behind the bar. Now as I scan my body, I wanna think of lengthening out through the crown of the head, feel my collarbones get wide, my shoulder blades slide down the back, Tailbone is reaching towards my heels and my feet are flexed. So I'm pulling my toes towards my shins. I don't want to point the toes. I want my feet flexed, heels back. We're going to go for eight here. Press back on the inhale. Exhale, bring it in. Range of motion's up to you. If it's a struggle to find that plank and you just want to work on that, that's fine. There is no wrong movement here. If we're building on plank strength, core strength, just hold it, maybe count, focus on your breath. If we're moving, find that range of motion that allows you to feel challenged, but you're not compromising your form. Last three, last two, last one. As I bring it in, I'm just gonna pull my hips up and back, and as I look back to my feet, I want to separate those feet and anchor my heels against the shoulder rest now. So my heels are lifted. Those sit bones are drawing up and back. And I'm really 
pulling my chest between my arms, so just kind of like we started with that little stretch, opening up the upper back, letting the head fall down between the arms. We're going to start out by just finding our plank position. So I'm connecting from my heels up through my sit bone. I want to feel that activate before I even start to move. My shoulders are going to stay in exactly the same position as I push back into my heels, let my pelvis come straight down, find that plank. As I exhale, I'm going to draw the hips up, let my head come back down between the arms. Feel free to adjust. Nothing is in a fixed position. You can always play with it. Find that plank. Hips up, head down. Let's do that one more time. Press back with the heels, squeeze your butt, draw that belly tight. Exhale, hips up, head down. Now, if that's a challenge for you, you can stay in that range of motion. If it's something, if you want a little bit more of a challenge, we can take it to that next level. So what we'll do is find that plank, hold it, pull yourself forward over the bar, holding that plank as long as you can, and then right at the end, the hips go up, the head goes down. We're gonna do this three more times. Inhale, press, plank. Exhale, pull forward. Full breath, inhale, and exhale back into that starting position. Don't rush this. Inhale, plank. Exhale, pull forward. Full breath, inhale. Exhale, right back to where we started. Last one here. Hips up, head down. Walk those feet forward so that your heels are anchored down. Now you can take your hands and just kind of draw that weight out of your wrist, really pulling those hips up and back to where the wall and the ceiling meet behind you. Let the back of the neck relax, and then just let the hands rest on the bar. So we shouldn't have a lot of weight in those wrists at this point. The heels are staying heavy, the toes are gonna peel up off of the table. Can you keep those toes lifted as we work? We're gonna inhale, push the carriage back as far as you can without allowing the heels to lift. Exhale, pull it all the way back in. Inhale, press. Exhale it in. Drawing those toes up off the table as you pull in is actually going to help you find that lift through the inner thighs, inner arches of the feet. So even though we're folding forward, the front of the body is lifting. Last three. Last two. On that last one, hold it. We're gonna take that right hand, grab the outside of your left ankle. Take a little twist. Beautiful guys, let's switch sides. Right hand on the bar, left hand grabs the outside of your right ankle, right leg, whatever feels good for you here. Pressing through the heel of the hand, kind of pulling into that left hand to deepen that spiral of the spine. and then bring it back to center. And let those knees come back down onto the table. Good. So as we come down, you'll notice there's some space between your feet and the shoulder rest. Now we wanna keep that space. We wanna keep that open um, distance between the feet and the shoulder rest. Now this time we're gonna bring our right foot back up. This, you can either go onto the platform again, or if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, you can bring that foot up onto the foot bar. So it's really up to you. Now, once you're there, whether your foot's on the platform or on the bar, we're gonna lean into that front leg and then float that back knee up. And just work that heel back until it's anchored against the shoulder rest. Now, once you find that, we wanna keep reaching back into that left heel, keep the leg straight and strong. And as we inhale, we're gonna split. So pushing back with that right leg, letting your head bow down and then back in. So just a little bit more work than that first stretch. A little bit deeper stretch if that foot's up on the bar. Two. Good. Press it out. A little pause there. Keep reaching back into that left heel even as we're bringing the carriage forward. We're focusing on opposition here. The more you can actively reach back into that left heel as you bring the carriage in, you're going to get a big stretch in that left hip flexor. Last one. And as we come back in on that last one, 
Keep the right foot where it is. Let that left knee come back down. And just work the toes back so they anchor against the shoulder rest, just enough to give you something to reach into. And then we're gonna lift the chest. Push into that left foot, reach your left arm up to the ceiling and open up that left side of the body. And hold for three, two, one. Bring it back in. Beautiful, guys. As we step back with that right foot, we wanna keep some space between the foot and the shoulder rest again. We're gonna float that left foot back up, so either on the platform or on the bar in front of you. Hands are anchored on the bar as we shift our body weight forward and float that knee up. Pressing back into that right heel, feel that extension out of the hip, out of the knee, and then we're pressing out with our left leg. Extending out as far as you can. So again, there's no wrong range of motion here. Do what feels good for your body. Let that head release down towards the knee as we press. Two. Three. So remember, this is about that stretch, so don't rush it. Give yourself that little pause in that extended position. Last one here. Bring it all the way back in, and as we come back in, keep your left foot forward, your right knee comes down, and then just work that foot back against the shoulder rest. Good, keep reaching into the ball of that right foot, lift that right arm up, take it into a nice deep side bend, and hold for three, two, one. Beautiful, guys. All right, let's step on down to the floor. So we're gonna straddle that reformer, anchor your feet on the floor, just outside of the reformer there. Good, all right. So as we anchor our feet, I forgot to set my clock. I have to start all over now. <laughs> all right, so joke never gets old, it's like a dad joke. <laughs> all right, so as we anchor here, we wanna find a spot where our feet are anchored on the floor, the knees are open, and as we reach out, we're gonna grab that foot bar and our arms should be straight. So if you're really close and your arms are bent, just gonna give yourself a little wiggle back. You shouldn't have to lean into it to get those arms onto the bar though. So from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone, we want this nice straight line. We're gonna wrap the fingers around the bar and as we inhale, pull your chest towards the bar, lift your chest and look up. And then as we exhale, open those palms and push. We're not moving the carriage, we're pushing our ribs back, pushing our spine back. And then inhale, lift. And exhale, press. Inhale, lift. And exhale, press. Let's go for one more here. into semicircle, I think is what it's actually called. Don't use that name very often. I know that everybody kind of has a love hate for this movement, but it's so good for your spine. We're gonna do it. And I can't hear you complain. <laughs> so there's that. All right, so what we wanna do here is we wanna anchor our feet down on the platform in front of you. Walk your hips as close to the edge of the carriage as you can first. So that's the easiest way to kind of get this set up. Now once I'm there, I'm gonna place my hands on the carriage outside of my hips, push down, lift my pelvis just enough that I can push that carriage out from underneath me. Now once it's there, I'm gonna drop my butt down into the springs and stabilize, kind of put that carriage right against my lower back. Now once I lay back, I'll reach up, anchor the hands against the shoulder rest, and then walk my heels up onto the bar. So I wanna go into that Pilates V, so my heels are together, toes are apart. Now I'm gonna just lift my hips just enough to just have my shoulders on the table, and then you're just gonna kinda of shimmy those shoulders, pushing the carriage out from underneath you. So the biggest mistake that I see people make is they start pushing with their legs. My legs don't change, I wanna keep those knees bent, and I'm just gonna work on getting those arms fully extended. 
And so there is this active reach in the upper body. I'm pushing against the shoulder rest. I'm not just letting my arms relax. I want to stay active. I want to reach and push those shoulder rest away from me throughout this movement. Now, once I'm here, I'm just going to let my hips go. And see, can you find those springs on your butt? That's our goal, is that you can feel your butt resting on the springs. The knees open up. I promise you it won't pinch you. And let's take a couple deep breaths here before we move. So we're going in through the nose. As you exhale, just reach into those shoulder rests. Let those hips just melt down. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, reach into the shoulder rest and let those hips melt. Now we're going to inhale again. And then on the exhale, I want you to start tucking that tailbone, scooping your belly rolling up to the top of the shoulders. Kind of check in with those shoulders, make sure your neck is free, we're still reaching up. Now from there, I'm gonna keep my hips lifted, push out with my legs, going all the way out to full extension. So my inner thighs are now zipped together, my arms are still reaching up, and I'm gonna slowly let my hips roll back down into the well until I feel those springs on my butt. I'm just gonna keep my hips low, drag it in. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale, press it out. Exhale, roll it down. Inhale, bring it in. We're gonna do that two more times in this direction. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale, press it out. Exhale, roll it down. So my knees don't bend, I'm just letting my hips roll. And then I bend the knees and bring the carriage in. One more time, exhale, roll it up. So fix each position. Press with those heels, extend those legs, pause. Then keep the legs straight, drop your butt down. Keep those hips low as you drag it in. Now we're reversing, so this time we're gonna push. Keep the legs straight, squeeze your butt, just bridge the pelvis up. And then bend the knees, reach those knees up, 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 up as you pull forward. And then roll it all the way down and press and squeeze and lift and bend roll it in and roll it all the way down last two here press lift bend those knees pull the carriage in lift 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 and roll it down one more time press lift reach those knees as we pull and lower all the way down. Beautiful. Wrap those fingers around the shoulder rest and then just kind of wiggle your way back onto the carriage. <sighs> As we come back in, stay holding on to those shoulder rests. Let your elbows go out wide and just let the knees fall over to the left side. There's a lot of low back and spinal mobility work here. Now let's go back to center. Let the knees roll to the right. Maybe take that gaze over your left shoulder. Beautiful. As we come back to center, we're gonna reach back and grab our straps. So, feet on the bar. We're gonna use that bar to stabilize you as you push out, and then reach up and place your feet inside the long loops. So we wanna bring the straps closer to the heel than the toes. Stabilize that first leg, and then the opposite foot reaches up, and now we're in our straps. Okay, so we're gonna do just a little bit of warm up work before we go into our long spine. So feet are parallel, legs are straight, we're reaching into those heels, we wanna find that neutral pelvis, and we're just gonna start with a push pull here. So my right knee is gonna bend as my left heel reaches straight up towards the ceiling. As I press into both heels, I find that straight leg position in the middle, and then switch. So the goal here is to move the legs at the same time so I never lose tension on either strap. Bend the left, right heel reaches, exhale, meet in the middle. Let's go one more on each side. Two. And one. Beautiful, back to center. 
Now from there, we're gonna go ahead and take it into our long spine. So remember with long spine, we're focusing on creating length from the crown of the head all the way up through the tips of the tailbone, but just in a very different plane. We wanna think about keeping those legs straight and just allowing that relationship between the springs, the straps, and your body kind of work in coordination here. So as I let my feet go right past my hips, I wanna start from the tip of my tailbone and reaching into those straps and peeling up one vertebrae at a time. So from here, I wanna pause at the top, give it just a little reach, see if I can't get a little bit higher, a little bit straighter, open my legs to a hip distance, and then slowly melt it back down one vertebrae at a time. Once I feel my hips land, then I'm gonna push my legs away, bring my feet back together. So it's all about control and balance, trying not to let the carriage go in all the way. So the feet come just past the hips. Now point your toes, reach into those straps, roll it up, open to a hip distance, and slowly curl one vertebrae at a time, and then press the legs back out. So we're gonna do one more like that with the legs together. So legs together, feet together. Let those feet come just past your hips, reach into those straps, scoop the belly, roll it up, open to a hip distance. The exhale curls you back down. Once those hips land, press your legs away. So this is where we're gonna change that footwork. We're gonna go up with the legs apart, down with your legs together. So feet are at a hip distance. Inhale as the feet start to rise up. Let them come just past those hips. And then exhale, curl it up, reach up. Now zip those inner thighs together, squeeze those thighs, draw that belly tight as we roll back down one vertebrae at a time. Hips land, press legs away and open. Roll, find that lift, find that reach. Press the legs together and curl. Push the legs away one more time. Open. Feet come past those hips. Exhale. Roll. Legs together. Reach. Find that lift. Find that length. And slowly roll back down. Good job, guys. Let's go ahead and bend our knees. Let's take the right foot out of the strap. Reach down and place that right foot on the bar. Left leg is gonna reach to the ceiling. And just start with that hamstring stretch. Good. So you reach into that heel, focus on getting the back of that thigh to lengthen out all the way. The tip of the tailbone is heavy. I'm using that right knee to start to deepen that stretch as far as I can without losing that length down through the tip of my tailbone. Beautiful, now from there, let's take that leg and let it float over to the left side. That right knee's gonna rotate out just slightly, keeping that right hip heavy as we hold for three, two, and one. Now from there, push with your right leg, bring that left foot up, Grab that strap with your right hand and bring it across the body. Beautiful. Whew. All right, let's release that. Take that left foot out. Place that strap back on the bar. And then we'll reach up and place that right foot inside the loop. Right heel reaches towards the ceiling. Starting with that hamstring stretch. Think of the tip of the tailbone pulling down as we reach up through that heel. Two, one, good. And then take that leg over to the right side. Letting that left knee fall out to the left side, reaching into that right heel. Bring that leg up, pull it across the body. All right, and 
and then we'll release that. So we take that foot out of the strap, let's place it back on the bar. And then we'll come on up. And let's take it down to just a blue spring. Grab a sip of water if you need it. We've got just a few minutes left here. We're going to take it into a little bit of upper body work, a little bit more core work here. So we're going to go on our knees facing towards the risers. So remember, we're just down to one blue spring. Once you're there, you're going to anchor the knees against the shoulder rest. Grab those rails and then pull yourself forward and reach out and grab onto those risers. So we're going to start here, just a little assisted child's pose. Tuck the knees into the chest. Let your hips reach back. Let your head come down. The forehead can rest on the headrest. And just take a couple deep breaths there, letting those shoulders rise up. So remember, yellow is always an option on these. If it starts to feel like it's too much, take it down a notch. Remember, we're working in both directions. So don't let those springs carry you back. You're resisting the springs, anchoring the shoulder blades down as the arms extend. Last two. Last one. As you release, take those hands back to the rail and just let yourself slide all the way back. And we'll come up and sit on your heels for a second. Once we're there, we're gonna reach the arms up over your head, bend your elbows, and then with your right hand, grab the top of that left elbow, pull it over to the side. And then switch, the left hand grabs the top of your right elbow. All right, we're gonna release that. And then from there, we're gonna take it back into that tabletop position. So this time, instead of pulling forward, we're just gonna reach up and place your hands on the rail, slightly in front of your shoulders. We're wrapping those arms. So I wanna feel that spiral of my elbow rotating in towards me, and then feeling that spiral of my triceps drawing those shoulder blades back and wide. Lengthening out through the crown of the head. I'm gonna start by just pulling just a little bit of tension on that spring. So really feeling those arms locked in place. I'm going to scoop my belly, take that gaze back between the thighs, back of the neck is relaxed, and as I exhale, I want to pull that carriage into the back of my hands. Inhale as I release the spine, letting it lengthen out. Exhale, C curve. So it shouldn't feel like a lot of resistance. Again, if it does, Drop it down a notch. Focus on that spinal flexion. Not pulling from the arms. Not just pushing into those hip flexors. Last three. Two. Last one. Release that. Sit back towards your heels. Give me a little child's pose stretch. All right, as we rise up, do a few shoulder rolls here. And then we'll come up. We're going to grab that left loop 
and bring it over to your right hand, holding past the knot on the rope, so all the way up on that rope. We're letting that arm extend, and then our left arm is gonna reach forward. So we're gonna go into this little spiral. So as I start to pull my right elbow back, I'm reaching forward with that left hand, taking the gaze over my right shoulder, and then releasing back into center. So just a little pull, we did a lot of pressing, a lot of work with those shoulders today, so we just wanna balance it out with the pull here. Last three. Last two. Last one. We'll release that, switch sides. Bringing that right strap over to your left hand, right arm reaches forward, draw that left elbow back, same thing, you want to take the gaze over that shoulder, and release, two,